Shabbat Shalom. This week, the Torah portion and Shabbat coincide with the secular New Year, a time when we all want to make resolutions. I resolve in the New Year to do X, Y, and Z. Invariably, in the New York Times and many newspapers this coming weekend, there will be articles about the efficacy of those uh, New Year's resolutions. Generally, you get about a 20% success rate. That is to say that two out of every ten resolutions actually bear fruition. But when we look at this week's Torah portion, we see a different kind of resolution that the children of Israel will have to make. This week's Torah portion, like the new year, is a new beginning. We read the second book of the Torah, the book of Exodus, and the first Torah portion. And we immediately see that things are about to change for the Jewish people. A new Pharaoh arises who doesn't care about what Joseph had done for the people in the past. And so now the people find themselves in a new situation, far from their homeland, persecuted, and unsure what to do. As we know, it is a situation that will reoccur throughout the Jewish people's history. And so they make a resolution that Jewish people would have to make throughout time, which is that despite all of the outside circumstances, we will be strong and resolute so that the continuity of our people will never cease. Even amidst persecution, we will be strong from within so that we can stand and survive what comes without. Ultimately, this people would be led to the promised land, but we know it was a stay there that would be short-lived. Today we're in that promised land. But the reality is that that resoluteness that our people showed so many years ago is still what drives us today. Happy New Year, Shabbat Shalom, and good luck on your resolution.